what's up guys welcome back to another video today we're going to be doing more rainbow stuff this is not part two this is um one where i'm going to be showing you the cleaning techniques showing you the manual and then showing you my three favorite parts that i forgot to show you in the last video i'm basically showing you all the stuff i missed in the last video so let's start this thing Okay, as you know, um, we have to, sh I'm going to first show you all, like, through steps, through steps. Okay, so basically, like, how I started using my, how I started to use the rainbow. So first thing I always do, so let me find it, is you always read this it says rainbow srx but you guys srx you guys it's probably backwards for you owner owner's manual um a lot of questions that you have will be answered in this in the manual a lot of the questions so like if you have any huge questions that are like about the vacuum as you can see there's some steps, how to open it and stuff. Yeah, there's a whole many pages, all the different steps. So most of your questions will be answered in there. It's, and then like a blinking light represents an issue with the hose or powered accessories. Solid light for several seconds represents an issue with the main canister unit. Like that kind of stuff. Like it, it gives you information. Then it also answers a lot of questions. We got the whole vacuum right here. And all the steps and everything. So that's, most of your questions are answered in the book. In the manual. Okay. We're also going to talk about which parts may not fit on there that well. Or shouldn't really go on there. This part. You can make it really, really top heavy or front heavy. And, I mean, you can put it on there, but it will make it a little top heavy. Let's get the other part. First, my other part is over here because it's the bigger <laughs> one. Okay. This. Do not put this thing on there. I'm not even going to try because it's going to flip my rainbow. <sighs> These do not put on there. They're not really, they're not parts. But they're like parts, but don't put them on there. Okay. Next, just don't put the hose on there. You kind of already understand that. Okay, now it's time for me to show you my three favorite parts that can go on there. Sorry, I'm reading some of the parts. Okay. These are my three favorite parts. This one goes really good on sides and stuff. Fits on there perfectly. This one for all sorts of pets. And yes, cats, dogs, kittens, puppies, really any of those animals. And this one, the brush. You can lightly do it on the floor, on the walls and stuff. Dusting, don't do it too hard. Those are my three favorite parts. And the, the thing is, they just go on there like that. And now a lot of people don't do it because they want it to look good. But yeah. Okay. 
Next thing, so really what you should do is read the ma owner's manual, if you don't understand, then clean with the vacuum, then put your three favorite parts on. Now, let's get the hose hooked up. Now, the hose is pretty simple, like I've showed you guys. You do these two, pull this up, and it latches right in. Look at that. And a lot of people do this and like suck the air in to clean the air. It's not always the best because you never know what's in the hose and you might lose. I know everything usually comes out clean, but. Okay, now I'm gonna show you the little parts first because they're easier to do. Then I'll show you the big part. Okay, we're gonna start with the first part. Now, this one, I am going to just show you how you can lean against edges and how it fits. But I might not show you on my edges because my floor is really bad. But let me get the camera. Okay, guys. So let me turn the camera around really quick. Okay, so this is mainly how you do it. So you have this edge right here. You just suck it up. But remember, three, two, three, and four are the main ones you want. For this one, two, three, and four. For like this big one, you're gonna want two and three. But if you have to, I mean three and four. But if you have to, you can use two. So let's pump it up to right here. Pump it up to, let's do, okay, you can hear it sucking right now. And my floor does really need a clean, so see how it drags? Now we're gonna turn it up to three. Now you can hear it go really good. You can do it like that on the edges. See how I'm doing it? Exactly like that. Now let's do four. Now this one works really good if you're trying to suck super good. Okay, that was this one. Let me take it out. You, so for this one, there's a button. You press it, pull it. Okay, the next one I'm show you, gonna show you guys is gonna be, let's see, this one. So I'm gonna take the thing off. So the way that you take the thing off is, take this, sorry guys. forgot. This is not the one that we're going to take this thing. So that was the one that I wanted to show you because a lot of you guys were just don't hold this one. It does the same thing with this one. For the rest of them it does the same thing. Now we're going to move on to this one. The rest of them it's like you know it hooks on the same way. That's really all I wanted to show you. Okay. Let's hook this one up now. This one is going to be the hard one. Well, not hard, but um, one that does a lot of stuff. You basically just put it in, match it, will be on. See on one? See how it's on one? Can't do it. Okay, so let's basically go over here. And I am not going to take the rainbow off, but I would take it down if you... We're going to do something. Turn it this way. I will show you it on two, then three, then four.
there, guys. And you might want to take that paper off. Look how nice that is. See how fluffy it is? That's what you want it to look like. If I were to go over this a hundred times, that'd be a year works of rainbow. Or a year works of vacuuming. Okay, now let's bring it up to three. You can see the water. See how it's pulling? It kind of pulls you. I really recommend the rainbow. Look how fluffy my floor is. I wish you guys could feel it, but like, it's way better now. It used to be so rock hard. Okay, now what you guys have been waiting for, number four. I don't know if you can hear it that good, but it is cleaning, like really good. Yes, I heard the sound, don't be freaked out, it's fine. But I highly recommend it, look, so see over there, now look right where the rainbow is. Yeah, that's from the normal vacuum, this is from the rainbow. Re I recommend it. This is where my old carpet used to be, right there. So I'm using it right now. Look when I go on one. See how it's going because it's on two. Doesn't work anymore. Okay. I'm gonna unplug the hose real quick. So what you do is go like this, pull down, and you got your hose. And yes, this can sit up by itself. Okay, let's get back in the camera position really quick. Okay guys, let me put you on my stand. There we go. Still rolling. One sec, guys. I'll be right back. Okay, guys. We're back. So, that was cleaning with the rainbow. Now, it's really hard to get this off. That's why... I, <clears throat> that's why it's hard for me. But, yes. You guys learned everything in the last video. Um... Rainbow, let me show you how dirty the water is after just doing my carpet that many times. I know, I just put the camera on for like nothing. You guys, ready to look how dirty the water is? I know you guys can't see it too good, but look at that. All those are dust mites. Now you guys... Dust mites are what cause sicknesses. Yes, this is very hard to get on. There you go. But yes, that is disgusting. It looks beautiful. Okay, guys. So that was the rainbow, all the guiding manual, all the cleaning stuff. Um... Don't forget, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, share this video with a bunch of people, and I will see you next time. Bye!